This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. Ahoy, this is Zdenka, and today is another tutorial how to film cinematic B-roll with your smartphone and DJI OM5. This is a continuation of testing of this newly released gimbal. We will put it in a practical situation today. I'm going to be filming with iPhone 12 Pro in DJI Mimo. The frame rate I'm going to be using is 60 frames per second with the intention of slowing down some of the clips and the resolution will be 4K. I am in this beautiful Ontario location. Nobody is here because right now this time of the year beaches are quite empty. The intention is to capture this beautiful location in the early fall days. Lighting is absolutely amazing. We have overcast day is roughly 4 30 in the afternoon. Sounding is not ideal. I'm catching a lot of highway sound unfortunately because the wind is slowly coming towards me. First reveal shot will happen right here. I'm using all follow mode on the gimbal. My choice is a standard lens, white balance. I didn't leave on auto. I selected sunny. When I selected cloudy, I found out it was a little bit too orange. So I'm keeping it on sunny. And obviously I'm locking the exposure. So the background is nice and sharp. The foreground will be blurry. I'm going to be going through the grass, lifting the gimbal upwards. For this shot, I didn't leave it straight up like this. I made sure I move the gimbal a little bit towards me. That way it was a little bit easier to get the shot. The next shot will be after the reveal to show a little bit more of the beach. For this one, I am going with telephoto lens because if I would be using ultra wide angle lens, I would not really see the details. I need to get close and I'm going to be just making side movement as I am panning very slow. If you choose lens like telephoto, you need to move extremely slow. Creative shot will happen right here. I'm going to be shooting overhead on the lake, on the water, because I see these nice clear rocks. And I'm going to be using a spin shot for this one. The lens I'm going with is the telephoto. So I'm going to go right above the water and to make sure I lock the exposure and focus. And I simply make it spin. I'm using a slow speed spin. I actually changed it in a settings and I'm spinning clockwise. So you have to always remember the reaction, the direction you actually select it on your gimbal. I turned against the sun or the sunset. I flipped the gimbal upside down. The mode I'm using right now, it's tilt follow mode and I'm gonna go very low to the ground over the waves going towards um, the sunset. So let's do that. With joystick, you have to make sure you position the gimbal exactly where you want. And first, you're obviously going to lock the brightness and focus. Then go low to the ground and just keep slowly going forward. Have you noticed the sound and music in today's video? Sound and music are equally important as visual side of cinematic B-roll and today I try to do something a little bit different. I have purposely not downloaded the whole songs, but I was downloading stems, meaning that you can download melody or beats only and then combine them with your videos the way you like it. This is one very special thing about Epidemic Sound service, which made this video possible. Epidemic Sound gives you access to massive library. They own 100% of the music, so you don't have to worry that you will receive a copyright strike or take down. And yes, you can use it on monetized channel as well. You can use it on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and so on. The whole list is on their website. You can choose between personal and commercial plan. I've been with Epidemic Sound for a number of years and they always have fresh music. 
If you sign up to Epidemic Sound by using my link below in the video description, you will receive a free one-month trial. Any music you will use during the trial will remain safe and protected, even if you cancel your subscription after your trial month is over. Thank you very much, Epidemic Sound, for sponsoring today's video. Another creative shot from above will be happening here, so again, I need to go back and select Spin Shot. I'm in a position where this looks extremely beautiful for ultra wide angle shots. So the mode I'm using right now, it's tilt lock mode, and I'm simply going to be going sideways. I'll tilt it again, the gimbal a little bit towards me. So it's easier for me to move it. I'm gonna lock my elbows. I'm gonna go very deep into my knees, obviously lock the brightness and exposure very far ahead. And uh, I'll get ready, making sure the horizon is where I want it to be maybe a little bit this way. I'm gonna go much lower and see what shot we can get. Let's add some close-up shots of the plants. And for this one, I'm going to stay with tilt lock mode. I'm making sure that the gimbal is a little bit positioned forward. It's gonna be much easier for me to maneuver. Actually, I might do it this way. I'm really liking the elbow here. And I'm gonna be going forward. What will be happening is the focus is going to go from back to forward. Right now I'm shooting with a standard wide lens and I'm gonna be backing up, revealing this location. So I'm gonna go as forward as possible. Getting a very eye-catching shot is sometimes all about positioning yourself. I like the location over there because I see this beautiful bird, but when I look at the location through the camera, it doesn't look anything special. On the other side, when I move a little bit to the right and I see a little bit more happening, I'm seeing more of a cinematic shot. So I'm going to see how much I would get if I would be trying to mimic a very, very high shot, like a drone fake shot with this selfie stick. So I'm gonna hold it at the very, very end. I have the ultra wide angle lens and I'm gonna be simply going forward. Again, turning everything against the sunset. I'm seeing a lot of reflections in this little puddle or pond or lake and going straight to the waves. So I'm gonna walk this way, zigzag, and I'm also gonna stay with the waves. Tilt lock mode it is still. some more details of the plants for this one I'm just shooting with standard wide angle lens because I want to get as close to the plants as possible purposely not locking up the focus and the mode I'm still using is tilt lock mode and I'm just gonna go from the top to the bottom it's got this beautiful texture One of the most epic sunsets is happening right now, so I'm not gonna waste any minutes and I'm gonna try my best to record, even though, to be honest, I don't see anything on the screen because the sun is so bright in my face. So I will have to shoot kind of blind <laughs> on this one. All right, let's do this. Tilt lock mode, just wide angle lens. I 
I started at this location, so I'm gonna finish at this location as well. Let's move to the studio so I can show you how I'm editing this final piece. Let me show you the edit as this is beginner's friendly video. This is very simple timeline. Timeline is in 24 frames per second. Clips were filmed in 60 frames per second. So that gives me the option to right click and select speed 40%, which will slow down the clips. And this is how you get slow motion. This is very helpful when you want to hide some of the shakes in the clip. If you film in real speed and you end up with shaky footage, other option would be using warp stabilizer, which will stabilize the clip further. I have created a tutorial on using a warp stabilizer, so I'm gonna link it below in a video description. There are no transitions. This is very basic, simple timeline. Once you add the music and sounds, color grade the video, you can end up with something like this. created a free LUT. I will link it below in a video description. All you have to do is just make sure that your white balance is correct on the clip and then you can apply the LUT to get this type of a look. Again, it's below in a video description so you can grab it. A week ago I reviewed this DJI OM5 gimbal so in today's video I would like to share my experience of working with this gimbal in the field. Some of you were saying that when you extend the selfie stick and you actually tilt it here and there, that the horizon is not ideal. To be honest, I was extending it a lot and I was moving around a lot and the horizon was always perfect for me. I didn't find any issue whatsoever. It is working just fine. I'm really hoping that the motors, the motor will last here because I'm really like tilting it, really moving it around a lot in all kinds of directions. So I'm hoping that it down the road is not gonna do anything really with the motor. I'm finding that the stabilization is not ideal. It's good but I had to be really careful with my moves. You have to do a lot of work yourself to make sure that the footage is quite stable. You have to go really deep in your knees and try not to really um, shake the gimbal. It is quite sensitive, especially the pan motor. I'm finding that just tiny movement and it's already going left and right. You probably noticed it in the video. So it is quite sensitive to movements. What I really enjoyed was the selfie stick. So much easier to film in low angles and just in normal angle. You see the phone screen much better. You don't have to really bring your arm high. You can have it very comfortable. You can actually lock your elbows, which is much better for filming. I really, again, I really enjoy the selfie stick. Bottom line, if you're gonna be filming in automatic mode like this, this is a very good gimbal to work with. Hit the thumbs up if you liked today's video and don't forget to subscribe for more filmmaking tutorials like these. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ahoy!